gonna sit here and just try to power through the storm that is happening outside. I don't even know why Florida is referred to as a sunshine state because I feel like it rains 90% of the time. Like everyone comes here to vacation thinking they're gonna like lay on the beach with the beautiful weather and the sunshine. Go to California if that's what you want because in Florida you'll probably end up sitting in a hotel room for the entire week while it's just torrential downpour. Do you hear this? All right, it's much more quiet now, thank God, because it was getting really, really crazy out there. So for today's video, I am, of course, going to be doing a step-by-step -step makeup tutorial on this look that you see right here. I was so totally inspired by this photo that a subscriber tweeted to me weeks and weeks ago. And look at this girl's makeup. Let me zoom into her. First of all, her bone structure, on point. Just gotta throw that out there. But this makeup, I died for it. So I was totally inspired by this. I did make it much more dramatic and a little bit extra, but you know me, that's just how we do around here. And it looks like it is by Crystal Clear Makeup, as you can see right there. I know that it looks like this can be somewhat intimidating, especially because you have a glitter liner. So it's like, oh great, not only do I have to do a regular wing liner, but I also have to do a glitter liner. Like it seems like a lot of work. It seems like something that you could easily mess up on. And I get that, but don't be afraid to try. You never know what you're gonna be good at until you try it. And maybe you'll put it on and you'll hate it, but maybe you'll absolutely love it so don't be afraid to try new things you know that's what I always say like the beauty about makeup is if you don't like it hey at least you tried it out and you can wash your face and it's done it never happened so anyways thank you so much for watching this video you guys if you like it make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more give it a thumbs up you know I appreciate it I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon bye Hello everybody. So for today's look, I'm going to start with my eyes because things can tend to get messy when you work with a lot of shadow, especially dark shadows. So I want to make sure I can clean it up and not ruin my foundation. That's why I start with my eyes first. I'm going in with Makeup Geek Bake Sale and a small natural hair blending brush. This is the Morphe M441. And as you can see, I'm taking this color all the way to the inner corner of my eye and windshield wiper motions all the way to the outer corner. Then we're gonna grab some good old Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. It's been a minute since I've touched this eyeshadow. Using that exact same brush, I'm going to blend that right over top of it, and I'm gonna take this a little bit higher up towards the brow just so that it's nice and smooth and nothing is harsh. Now I'm going to be grabbing the Masquerade Palette by Juvia's Place. I was really looking forward to playing with this because hello, look at all these beautiful colors. So I'm going to pick up this kind of medium to dark matte brown shade. It's super pretty. I will say right off the bat, you guys, there definitely is some inconsistency in this palette because some shadows are bomb and then others definitely lack blendability and pigmentation. This color though, it's beautiful. So I'm going to be packing on the outer corner and bringing it all the way to the inner corner just like I did with the other two shades just this time I'm packing on a little bit more of a generous amount and I'm going to keep it lower on my actual lid and I don't really want to go any higher than the crease of my eye make sure you're evenly packing the same amount of products on the inner corner as you are the outer then I'm going to grab another Juvia's Place palette this is the Nubian 2 I'm going to grab that cool tone brown and now you're going to see I'm definitely having difficulty with this I was hoping that it would show up really cool and really intense and deep and as you can see I really wasn't getting much product put on my eye I was trying though I was going to make it work it works if you work it right so I kept going back and packing more and more on but what I ended up doing was I actually ended up grabbing some Anastasia Beverly Hills Fudge Eyeshadow, which is kind of a warmer brown, but it's very deep, which is this one right here that you see on the screen. And I'm going to go over everything because it just looked a little patchy. It wasn't blending right. And I honestly sat there with that color for like five minutes trying to make it work. And I was like, girl, I am done battling these harsh lines. OK, let me go ahead and grab another shadow and blend it out. So that is what I did. I'm literally just taking a smaller, more dense blending brush that I used in the beginning and I'm just going over everything back and forth in windshield wiper motions and then I will take a clean brush and just kind of go over the whole thing very gently as you can see to make sure that dark brown is blended in with that lighter brown. Now I'm going to go in with the Natasha Denona palette and I'm going to use the shade 04M Chromatic. You can buy these palettes or you can buy them individual. I'm going to spritz my brush with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and then very, very lightly and slowly I'm going to begin to pack this color on just the center of my lid. Now you're going to see me struggle in this video, but I actually kind of like it. I thought I'm not going to edit out the struggle because I want you guys to see certain things that you'll come across when doing makeup and not to get frustrated and ways to work out of it. So I packed that color on my lid and then I went back with Anastasia Fudge. And all of a sudden I'm like, as I'm packing this on, I'm like, it is just, it, it's not giving it to me the way I wanted. I sat here for so long trying to blend out that silver and make it look 
really beautiful. I ended up kind of covering it up as you can see me doing right here because I'm like, why aren't the edges blending out? So I ended up taking that exact color with the exact brush and Mac Fix Plus and putting that silver all over my entire lid. And I did my left eye with this different technique and it was so much better. Like just covering my entire lid with this and then going in and putting that dark brown on the inner and outer corner. It was so much easier. It was so fast. It took like 60 seconds and the outcome was better. For some reason, this has never happened to me before. Normally, like I do this halo technique and it's easy. But for some reason today, my shadow was trying me and it happens. It's like some days wing liner is super easy easy the other day it's so crooked it's like you just want to wash your face and scream and throw something across the room and today was one of those days my shadow did not want to blend so that's a little tip that I kind of learned along the way and it helped so much so now moving on to liner I'm going to give myself a nice wing you can do as thick and as long as you want to go oh honey if that's not what she said I don't even know what she said but one thing that I love about this look doing the glitter liner is if you struggle with having a straight line it's actually kind of awesome because if your line is wavy it's okay because you can just go in and cover up with glitter liner so now I'm going to go with one of my favorite glitters ever this is by lit cosmetics and I'm going to use the lit glitter glue which you need if you are someone who works with glitter a lot, I can't stress enough how amazing this glitter glue is. It truly is the best. And as for the liner, I literally just dip my brush into it, pick up a little bit of the glitter, and it just makes it so slippery and it just glides on so easy and it's nice and full pigment glitter. And as you can see right here, this is honestly easier than the black gel liner itself. It is so simple. But I will say the reason why is because the brush, you have to have the perfect brush that's not too fat, not too thin and comfortable in your hand. This is the Morphe M250-1, and it's my favorite one. And if you need to touch up your liner a little bit, if glitter has fallen down, you can totally go back and make it blacker and touch it up so everything is nice and straight and symmetrical. Now I'm going to be applying false lashes, and I'm going to be going in with the Blinking Butte Samantha Lash. Oh my God, <laughs> my babies. I swear, if I could birth a lash, it would be these. Like They are going to be, I think, in my top three for like the rest of history. They're just beautiful. I'm going to be priming my skin with Elsie Pearl Radiance Primer. It is amazing for those of you who have dry skin are looking for radiance, moisture, hydration. It's such a nice primer. Then for foundation, I'm going to be using the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. This is a medium to full coverage, definitely more on the full coverage side. I absolutely love it. As you can see, I li literally like draw it on my skin. I paint it on and then I buff it out with the Morphe M439 Buffer Brush, which is a synthetic brush. I always recommend a synthetic brush to blend out your foundation no matter what brand it's by. I think it gives the most beautiful finish overall. Then for concealer, I'm going to be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape. Don't worry, I'm not using a shade that light. <laughs> not no more, honey. Maybe a year ago, but not no mo. I do go over it with a different darker shade because they're currently out of stock of my actual shade so I mix like a really really light one and like a more tan one <laughs> to get my perfect color right now until it comes back in stock I'm waiting I'm stalking you Alta I am ready for my shade I'm going to blend that completely out with a damp beauty sponge do you see how full coverage that concealer is like it doesn't play games it does not play games so now with that exact same damp sponge, I'm going to grab the RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. I put it into like an old Sephora packaging because I cannot stand the packaging that it comes in and it just makes it so much easier. So I emptied out an old container and just put it right in there. I'm going to set my entire face with this damp sponge and that powder, including my under eye. I've been doing this recently and I just love the outcome. It makes my whole face bulletproof and I just think that it looks so flawless. I'm going to fill my brows really quick and then we're going to jump to the under eye area. I'm going to go in with the exact same shadows that I used on my top lid and we're just going to begin to just run everything all the way from inner corner to outer corner. I do suggest when you're doing a smoky eye, don't bring your color all the way into the inner tear duct. Otherwise, it can begin to look like a black eye. So make sure that you kind of stop right when the lashes stop. That's where your color should stop on the inner corner of the eye. So after I apply it with a pencil brush, I'll go with a blending brush with a little bit more of that color just to really blend it out and kind of buff it down so it's nice and smoky with no harsh lines. How many times a day do I say no harsh lines? Honestly, like I need to get like a quarter jar where I put a quarter in every single time I say no harsh lines. So I just use a little bit of gel liner on my lower waterline and I'm going to go back in with that dark brown and just blend that out so it's nice and smooth and black with no harsh lines. Cha-ching! Another quarter. 
just applying a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes, of course, and then I'm going to move on to the face. I'm going to contour using Benefit Hoola Bronzer, and I'm using this brush that I have been loving recently for contour. I feel like I'm finally getting my contour game back on point. I kind of lost it there for a minute. It's okay. It's okay because mom is back. I'm using the M530 brush to apply this and it's kind of scratchy which turned me off at first because I was like this is not going to apply it very well and I kind of was like a little pooter about it like mm, I don't like this. Now I'm obsessed. Now that I've used it a couple of times I love it. I live for it. I die for it. And then I'm going to sculpt out that contour by going in with that same damp sponge and that same exact translucent powder. I'm just going to sculpt it out and then immediately just grab a brush and wipe it away. You can leave it there if you want for a few minutes or all day, whatever you choose, no judgment. But especially when you use a damp sponge, it's like an instant effect and I just wipe it right off and we're good to go. And then I'm going to grab the Morphe 9N blush palette. I'm going to take this matte kind of rosy taupey shade and I'm going to use that exact same brush that I used to apply my contour because I have two of them. I use one for blush, one for contour and I'm going to use that same brush. I'm going to put this on the apple of my cheeks and blend up towards the temple area. Now for highlight, my favorite combo recently, Champagne Pop. I heard some lame girl, she created it. I don't want to talk about her right now and I'm going to mix it with Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I mean, come on, look at that. I'm sorry. There's no denying there is no denying that highlight. It is so pretty. So I'm going to put that at the top of my cheekbones. I'm going to put it a little bit on my chin, a little bit on my cupid's bow, and then the tip of my nose. It's kind of how I've been highlighting recently. And I really, really like it. It just kind of brings an overall highlighted effect to the entire face. Now for lips, I'm going to start off by going in with ColourPop and Kathleen Light's 0 0.0 Liquid Lipstick. I love this color so much. I talked about it in my favorites video. I talked about a lot of products in this video, my favorites. But I just love this lip color so much. I think it's really different and really, really beautiful. But I wanted something a little bit different for this look. Like I felt like it wasn't popping enough. So I grabbed Jeffree Star Cosmetics Posh Spice and layered it. And then I thought it was perfect because it kind of has like a gray grayish undertone to it so it really pulled like the cool tone and the silvers all together and I feel like it really completed the look. I've been mixing liquid lip colors recently and loving it like custom creating your own. Anyways you guys that's it for this look. I hope you love it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!